Denk mal. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again. You know, how often have, in the past few years, have you heard that the media was the enemy of the people? Now, the media, just like anybody else, they don't always get everything right. But why would you call them the enemy of the people? History teaches us that in past, the reason the media was called the enemy of the people is because the people were going to be overthrown by an evil, demonic power. And they needed to get the people convinced not to trust the media. The media's job is to take, bring truth to power, to speak truth to you too, to let you know what's really going on. But the enemy of the people don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know what's going on. They are telling you don't believe the media so they can screw you. So today I thought I'd tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, the enemy of not just the people here in America, but the enemy of the people all over the earth. The enemy of morality. The enemy of food and clothing and shelter for every individual on the earth. The enemy of education for everybody. The enemy, my friends, the enemy of health care for everybody on earth. The enemy of full employment and peace and prosperity and joy for everybody on earth. The enemy of God is Donald Trump. And you know it's true because he wants to be God. And all of those people that support him think that he is God. And they're going to get a chance to ride on his train. Now I know that sounds sick to say something like this. But all you've got to do is be on the other side of truth and look at Trump. And look at what's going on in the world. And you know I'm telling the truth. Because if you didn't think it was true, there's no way you'd be supporting that. Not necessarily that you'd be supporting whatever the other thing is. But maybe you'd support something totally brand new. So I tell you, Trump calls the American press the enemy of the people. But if I speak to you, the truth to power is that Donald Trump is the enemy of God. Donald Trump wants to be God. And all of you innocent, loving, wonderful kind of people who really don't mean no harm, you've just been blindsided. And you know what? I'm going to tell you what this will lead you to. It'll lead you, just like the Jews, if they are Jews, or whatever they were, it will lead you to the same persecution that those people went through. In Germany. It'll lead you to the same persecution that the people went through in Italy. It'll lead you to the same persecution that the people went through in Africa. It'll lead you to the same persecution that the people of the United States went through in the Civil War. It will lead you to death. So you better get off that bandwagon of Donald Trump and you better start talk, talking about peace and joy, not just for you, but for everybody. Because if everybody does not deserve it, are entitled to it, then nobody, let me say it again, if everybody doesn't deserve it, isn't entitled to peace and prosperity and joy and happiness of life and, and the fulfillment of dreams, if everybody's not entitled to it, then no one is.